I just found out about that. So um, it kind of hasn't, I haven't processed it yet, but um, uh, it hurts because he was, out of all of us, he was a different one. He had God-given speed, so um, it's definitely tough. Place that yeah. How do you navigate without him? Yeah, there, uh, there's definitely no replacing KJ. Um, just replace it by making plays. Have more balls for other people, and when the ball comes away, just make a play. It might be not, be, might not be in a way that he would do it, but there's other ways to make big plays. Um. I kind of try to just let my play do the talking, the way I carry myself, and uh, just keeping guys positive. I think that's just the biggest thing out there. Everybody has the talent to be here and be productive here. Just sometimes people get down on themselves. And I just try to make sure everybody's having fun out there and they're staying positive no matter what's going on. Tim, a lot of the talk, you're 3-0, you're you dominated your opponents, but they're a combined 0-9. Mm -hmm. Now the schedule toughens up. Do you guys look at it like, all right, let's see what we got now. Uh, nah, because the the most important thing is that we focus on ourselves. Um, uh, we didn't pick our schedule, so we just, we're just going out there and getting dubs. And we got the Ravens this week, and we got to go out there and get another dub. Tim, you guys dealt with injuries last year. Seems the other thing is Cortland. Mm -hmm. When you have Teddy at quarterback and Key is when you're how much is that helping stability and consistency that position right now? Um, it's big. Uh, um, it's huge. He keeps us all settled and playing in the moment, not looking at the past, not looking at the future. He's just keeping us in the moment. So, yeah. Tim, you've been good on those deep passes. I don't think you have a drop here over the last couple seasons. Do things slow down for you in that moment when the ball's kind of coming in on those deep passes? Um, pretty much. I just know um, if I can't get it, nobody can't get it. And you can't worry about other things when you're catching the ball because as soon as you take your mind off of catching the ball, that's when you drop it. So, um, yeah, I just literally just focus in, doing whatever I got to do to uh, bring the ball down. After what you did last year, carrying that momentum to this year, you think people are done being surprised by Tim Patrick? Or? Probably not, honestly. Probably not, but I, I like it that way. I'm just going to keep on doing what I got to do to help this team get some wins, and we'll see where we're at, at the end of the season. Uh, undrafted, uh, never going to get viewed as that guy just because I wasn't drafted. So they think my ceiling isn't high, but I'm a different type of undrafted guy. So my ceiling is pretty high. Uh, I knew what my ceiling was because the, the past two teams I was with before, uh, I was playing good, but it was non-football things that got me out of there. So I knew what my ceiling was. And in college, I think every – Almost every defense I played, all their DBs got drafted. And they're all, I'm all on their bad tape. So I always had the confidence. It was just, I just needed an opportunity. Huh? You like Hell yeah, on the four DBs. It's difficult because even if we're covered, we're not covered. So like you could play the perfect defense and we'll go out there and make an amazing catch. And the coach can't tell you all oh, you got to do this better. You was in the perfect coverage. You just, we wanted the ball more and we got it. So it's, uh, it's deflating for defenses when you make plays like that. Yeah, um, definitely. And like I said, you just have to focus on catching the ball. Don't worry about if you hit the ground, if it's going to hurt um, the sun, because the sun was there. <laughs> and you just, you got to do anything possible to catch the ball and worry about the other stuff after you make the catch. Could you take us through that play where you kind of grabbed the ball off of 37's helmet there? You said you were giving guys bad tape. Uh, it was just a, a spray nine. Uh, he hit me in the face, so I really couldn't see. At first, I had to fix my helmet. I'm running. When I jumped up, I seen it. And then, like, the last minute, the sun just hit me, and I couldn't see it. That's why I just put my hands out like this. And once it touched my hand, I just curled up like a ball and fell. Sunday, how close is that to your ceiling? Or, I mean, how much 
how much more do you have to go to get to this level? Um, honestly, I watched the tape last night. I didn't think I played that well. I just made big catches that you guys like, so it seemed like I played well. But uh, I had a lot of little things I messed up on. My route running wasn't as good as it was in the past, the first two games. But uh, I made bigger plays this week, so it kind of washes all that away. Thanks, Jake. Mm -hmm.